Hey everyone, welcome back to the Best Rivals Podcast. I'm Brianna. And I'm Julia. And we're really excited to be back today. It's been a while again. We've just been really busy to talk to you guys about our lives and to start off our experience in the Deer District. I was there last night. All right. Brianna didn't come. She didn't want to come last night. Should we explain why I didn't want to go? Because it's the first time. Yeah, go ahead. So guys, we went on Thursday, which was... Game two of the finals. The Bucks made it to the finals. Crazy. Crazy. And the Deer District, it was a fun one-time experience. It was a fun experience. However, since we lost that game, I feel like the energy just wasn't right. And I'm going to be honest, I was not inhaling a lot of fresh air because all around us, you know, there was a lot of people vaping, and that's not exactly my scene. You know, my not mine either, but, you know, the Deer District, it's more fun when they win. It looked a lot more fun when we won. Yeah, because I went last night, and last night was game three, and everyone got hyped. There were fireworks in the end. Like, it was crazy. When we had that lead, everyone was going crazy. You know, on TV, when I saw the fireworks and they showed the Deer District, I was like, are you kidding? The time I don't go, they're shooting off fireworks. Mm-hmm. Fireworks. Yeah. So that was some BS. They saved the fireworks for... They should have saved them just for me. Brianna went to the Deer District. Let's shoot off some fireworks. <laughs> but it was really cool because the ESPN team was right um, next to the Deer District in this, like, local restaurant. Yeah, it's like, like a like bar the- overlooking the Deer District. And they were there and ever Like, we were in the background. Like, the Deer District was in the background. It was really fun because they would occasionally, like, turn around and just wave to us. <gasps> really? Yeah, and they were like... And some of them were like, I don't even know. They were just, like, looking at us and, like, laughing at us and smiling. And I was like, that's so fun. But that's so cool that they were right there. Yeah. And I, when they kept showing the Deer District on TV, I was like, where's Julia in the crowd? But you can't even tell. It's just so many people. But I parked. I parallel parked, like, between two cars in Milwaukee. Like, we were pretty close. And I was like, look at me go. I didn't hit anything going in or out. Wow. Also, they said something like, okay, I could be totally wrong, but I thought they said there was, like, 45,000 people there or something like that. And I was like, there is no way. You know, I really don't know because I don't know how far back it went. You know, how many people were behind me it went pretty far back i i didn't know because i couldn't i couldn't (laughs) barely could see in the screen but (laughs) really Um, this time it was the first time when me and brianna went together we i stood behind like a short group of girls so i could i had a pretty good view of the screen but the second time we went yesterday i could not see almost anything like it was pretty bad and we also got there late so that didn't help but and I don't know, maybe it's just because I didn't really walk inside the Pfizer forum, but it seemed like the fans were not as hype inside, but maybe that's just because I didn't see like a pan over of them. In the Deer District, the way they show the game is really interesting because they cut out all the commercials, and I don't know, I think they cut out some of the other yeah. shots. So I think I just okay. never saw it, and then I was kind of like assumed, like, mm, they're not hyped in the, they're not hyped in there. No, they definitely were. And there's these people sitting courtside, like, These kids, I don't know how many of them there were, but it was like at least five, right? And they all had matching outfits. They had like a, they had the black NBA final snapback. And then they had Mitchell and Ness, like the brand makes these jerseys that are black with flames on them and matching shorts. So they had a black hat, a black jersey, black shorts, like with the flames, like all matching. It's hilarious. Look at them go. The jersey's kind of cool though. I was like, oh. Another cool experience was when... It was the game one, so this, so the game was in um, Phoenix. Me and Brianna, we went and we watched the game inside Pfizer, but just on the big screen. That was really cool. I enjoyed it because we got to like just like sit down, chill, but we were still in like that hyped environment of like watching the game, you know. It was also kind of weird when we were losing though, and they were like free stuff. Yes, when we were losing, and then like. All these people who work there were trying to, like, hype us up. The dancers. Yes, they just, like, started dancing, and it was just like, uh. The game was getting hard to watch. But go Bucks. Bucks and Six. It still doesn't feel like they're actually in the finals. Like, it's kind of crazy. It doesn't feel like real life. Yeah. It doesn't even really feel like the finals. I don't know. It seems like other years, it's, like, a huge deal. Not that it's not a huge deal now. I, st- I get what you're saying, though. I feel like there's more anticipation, like, more hype. Okay, obviously, there's a lot of hype right now, but it just feels like... 
in other years there's like they get more hype leading up to the finals and now that we're here i'm just kind of like oh we made it to the finals <laughs> this is it yeah. yeah it also could be because we're a smaller market team that like even though we have the deer district and there's a lot of passionate people in there it's still i don't know it doesn't feel like everywhere you go it's just bucks 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 yeah my brother and i went on a bike ride the other day and he was wearing a bucks jersey and we were like biking around the city and nobody said anything like nobody said like go bucks or anything yeah. i'm like did you wow. see anybody else wearing a bucks there are these two people wearing t-shirts and i was like go bucks they said nothing <laughs> Yeah. I'm like, all right then, could have made, could have been friends. It's so, it was so crowded, like everyone's just touching you the whole time, and it's just like, mm. oh my gosh, a dude! I was literally just standing there, and this dude was looking for his friends, right? And this dude is taller than me. He puts his hand on my shoulder, and I just turn and look at him, and I'm like, excuse me, and he's like, oh sorry. And I was like, how do you not notice you're putting a, your hand on a random human? That's what I'm saying. It's like really it was a very odd experience. But I made friends. You want to tell us about? Yeah. So they were like yo it's this dude's birthday and they kept saying that like that was like the joke that they were going with like this whole time like every single person that passed by they said this thing so I turned around and I'm like is it actually your birthday he's like no (laughs) because his friend keeps saying it and then they turned it around to it being my birthday so (laughs) so it became yo it's Chris and Julia's birthday and every time someone would pass they'd hear that and wish us happy birthday and sometimes occasionally like People are trying to get through the like people aren't moving and then all of a sudden there's a random person between us and then they start talking to us and like they're like, oh, is this actually your birthday? And we're just shaking our heads like, no. And they're like, oh, I really thought it was. And I was like, no, it's not. But it was really fun. They were the type of people who like they made the game like more fun to like watch blaming shots. They're like, Julia, that one didn't go in because you didn't cheer. And I'm like, OK, <laughs> but oh, when, when there's free throws and everyone puts and puts their hands up it's so annoying because then you can't see if they actually make the free throw or not you, have to you wait know wait. by how loud people cheer if they made it in or not yep you have to wait until if they start cheering then they made it and then if not they didn't make it <laughs> good thing Giannis made most of his last game i know that was crazy oh i loved it when the crowd would just start cheering bobby 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 it was so much fun but you know it's crazy to see like Every now and then you see, like, a random parent there just standing there, and you're like, hey. Or a little kid, like, a random yes, kid. Saw like a whole trail of kids walk by, and we're like, are you guys okay? Do you need me to block out some people so you can get by? Like, you guys yeah. look like you're drowning. Oh, my gosh, I forgot to tell you. A person threw a water bottle at me, an empty water bottle. Really? Like these, Wait, these, these, on these purpose? Boys. Yes, these boys were, like, staring. It looks like they were staring me down, but it definitely could have been the guy next to me down. Because he's, like, taller or bigger. Like, I don't know. So they're just staring him down. And, like, I was, like, I look at these guys. And I'm, like, they're about to throw that water bottle. So I duck. Because if I didn't duck, it would have hit me. And then this guy just gets slammed with the water bottle. And he just turns his head. And and <laughs> he's, like, staring these kids down. And they're, like, <laughs> laughing. And I'm, like, they're so stupid. And, like, when people throw their cans up in the air and then let them just drop and hit somebody, that annoys me so much. At least it wasn't a glass bottle because I heard on Thursday people were throwing glass bottles and some girl got hit with a glass bottle. Oh my gosh, crazy. Yeah, but then the guy like that got hit by the water bottle and then my new friends, they're all like, let's go beat him up. Let's go beat these guys up. I'm like, yeah, they didn't. Obviously they weren't going to, but like I got hit with a mustard packet. Ew. It wasn't open. Good. But it kind of like someone just threw it up and then it hit me and I was like, yay, mustard. <laughs> Definitely wanted some mustard right now. Guys, I got my Madison housing assignment today. Maybe I should sound a little more exciting, but um, me and my roommate want to live in Southeast. Like, that's like the city. That's like where literally I feel like a majority of our classes would be by the Southeast dorms. But we got put on Lakeshore, which is so weird because our like priority listing, we put like all Southeast dorms and maybe one Lakeshore dorm or the one that's like kind of in the middle. And then when we got our housing assignments, Lakeshore. And I'm like, well, I know what room I'm in, though, and I also know my move-in date, so that's nice, but I was looking at it today because I was like, well, now I need to calculate how long it's going to take me to walk places, so how long it takes to walk to the business school. 18 minutes. I'm going to have to figure out this bus system or run. Jog. Madison, a lot of people bike in Madison because it's like a biking city. Yeah, so I could bike or get a moped. That would be so cool. Yeah, yeah. I think... Expensive, but... If I do get a moped, I think I'll definitely wait until, like, one first move in and then figure out like what it's like and then later because like i don't want to like show up with a moped and be like i have no clue where to put this how to take care of it or anything i'd rather like get situated first and then be like oh a moped would be helpful 
Did you watch Luca? The Disney movie? No. no. Oh, they drive around in a Vespa. You know, like the Vespa brand mopeds. It's an Italian brand. They drive around in one of those, and it's so cute, and I love that movie, and it's so cute. And if I ever have a son, I'm going to name him Luca now, even though my Nana said that that's a bad name. After a Disney movie? Who would have thought? What's your favorite Disney movie? That's a hard question. Um, just... Have I even seen them all? I don't know if I've even seen them no, all. No, like from but... the ones you've seen, which one is your favorite? <sighs> Uh, like recent, I really like Coco for some reason. I don't know why. I love Coco. Um, cars is pretty good. <gasps> cars. Don't make that face. I do like cars, cars. though. Lightning McQueen, good chow. Toy Story was pretty good too, but unpopular opinion, I didn't really like the later ones with like a fork. Forky. Ugh. I didn't really like that movie either. Or, or what's his name? The Strawberry Bear. I forgot. Lonzo? I don't no, know. No, it's not Lonzo. But is it I don't Lonzo? know if I like that movie either. I don't remember. Yeah, it's just like, mm, I don't know. Guys, I can't remember the movies I watch. Like, I watch them. I'll remember them for maybe five minutes and then I'll... Me neither. I'll watch it and I'll be like, oh, that was good. And I'll never watch it ever again. And then I'll forget about it. I think my favorite movies would probably have to be the ones that like I used to watch all the time when I was little. And that'd be Monsters, Inc. Because that one's just... A staple movie. Elite. Elite, really. And then A Bug's Life, which I really want to watch again. A Bug's Life is on your top list. You were looking at me wrong for saying cars. Oh, I forgot about The Lion King and like the lot. Li- Are you serious? I don't remember what happens in The Lion King. Oh my gosh. How do you not remember? The Jungle what Book? Happens? I don't remember what happens in The Jungle Book. Okay, but Moana? Moana. A really, really good one. But. Everyone hates on me for saying a bug's life. Because there's so many options. Why the heck would you choose? Because of the caterpillar, Heimlich. I'm a beautiful butterfly. Literally so ugly, that caterpillar. <laughs> that caterpillar turns into a butterfly and then flies off and says, I'm a beautiful butterfly. They knew what they were doing when they made that caterpillar. They purposely made it ugly. <gasps> You're so mean to the caterpillar. You know, I was thinking about Zootopia the other day because... Where I work, they have these popsicles, and they're in different shapes, and they have one that's a paw print shape. And then I was like, wow, Zootopia is really just a way for Disney to take, like, a drug-themed movie, like, a crime movie, and just turn it into a kid's version. Because if you turn the popsicles into drugs, it's literally just... It is a... That is a crime. It's a crime. Like, it's drug dealing. It's a movie about crime. Yeah. But Zootopia, pretty good movie, too. Yeah, pretty good movie. I haven't seen that in a while. Did you know... We looked it up, and it came out in, like, 2016 or something. No. A while ago, and I was like, wow, I feel old. There are a lot of movies where I'm like, I don't remember that coming out then, you know? Like, I either thought it was older or, like, not older, you know? Like, like Toy Story? Moana, though. Moana, every time I watch Moana, it makes me want to adventure. Oh, we forgot about Up. Up is a good movie, too. Dude, I used to hate Up. Really? Yeah, because it was so sad. It is really sad. It kind of reminds me of The Notebook. And I was like, why would you start off the kids' movie with the person just dying? And then I was like, mm, I don't know. It's like reality. It, though. <laughs> it's reality. You gotta hit the kids with and reality. that's why I was like, mm, I don't like it. But it's like a good movie, like now that I've grown older, but before I used to hate it. Um, Toy Story? 1995. Yeah. yeah. Like eight years before we were born. But Up, like if you really think about it, that is so sad. kind of makes me want to cry. You know, I don't really... The chairs. Oh, my God. When they show the empty chairs. You remember the two chairs? Oh, I think I do. The chairs that him and his wife would sit in. And then when his wife passed away, he would just sit in his chair and then the empty chairs next to him. Yeah. Really sad. Really, really, really sad. But Russell, do you think Russell is capable of pitching a tent? (laughs) (laughs) Or is the joke that he's like a bad boy scout and that's why he's like, give me your badge. I need a badge. I don't even remember. He's trying to get a... Why did he just hop on a stranger's house? I have, I don't, I don't remember the storyline. He put full trust in that man when he, me neither, but I just remember he ends up running around with them, so. Dog? The talking dog? The talking dog. I forgot the whole plot line to that movie now. I just remember the house was floating and then he's trying to escape somebody, this some rich old man. And I... the rich old man had all those talking dogs and then the talking dog escaped and went with them. I have no clue what the storyline is. Like, if you ask me, like, any movie, like, even Toy Story, well, what, they were toys, and then they got lost, and then they were trying to make their way back to Andy? 
right? Yeah, they're Andy's toys. Uh, but like, like that's why they got Andy, Andy's name written. Finding Nemo. Finding Nemo. What? They get lost. <laughs> it's all they get lost. Marlin. They get well, lost. It's almost like the whole concept is for Marlin to find Nemo. Who's Marlin? The dad. Oh, the dad's name is Marlin. <gasps> yeah. Nemo's dad has to go find Nemo. That's why it's called Finding but Nemo. But then what's Dory? Dory? Finding Dory. Yeah, Finding Dory is because, like, Dory was trying to find her parents and, like, where she came from, I guess, because her memory is terrible. Oh. That movie was, honestly, mm, uh, but if you guys ever go to Disney World, go on the Nemo ride because there's a song in it. I would literally go on the ride just for the song. It's like, in a big blue world. It's so good. (laughs) It's not on Spotify, guys. Couldn't find it anywhere. Wow. They got rid of my favorite ride at Disneyland. What ride? The Which Tower one? of Terror. Didn't they just change it? They actually tore it down. No, they just changed it to Guardians, to Guardians of, the of the Galaxy, which I think is lame. Eh, it's, it's the same ride, ride though. Why do I feel like I've been on it? It's with the one where Guardians like, of the Galaxy. I know, but with the Guardians, I don't of the Galaxy. know. I don't know how new it is, but like the last time I went, I think twenty thirteen. Guys, we're also um, nobody knows about our well, not a lot of people know about our podcast, and it's kind of funny because sometimes we'll accidentally bring it up. And then people will be like, you have a podcast? Yeah. So if you guys are listening right now, you are elite. <laughs> yeah, but like even hanging out one day, we were playing volleyball, which was so much fun in the backyard. I love friends. volleyball. When we played with them, that was, our team went crazy. It was actually so much fun. I did end up like, my one of my fingers was very swollen and very bruised and a little crooked, but it's fine now. She's she's healed. But Can I go like off the path really quick? Yes, go. I love volleyball so much. Like I think I might play intramural like, a low-level intramural in college, just because I've never played it before. But, like, that could be my new sport. It is really Because I'm sportless. <laughs> like, even sand, like, playing in the beach. Sand, sand volleyball. I want to play sand volleyball so, so bad. Fun. I love playing. And it's fun playing with, like, your, your group of friends. I don't know. Now that like, I'm not terrible, and it doesn't hurt because you just hit it with the right part of your arm. Like, it just doesn't hurt. Yeah. yeah. It's so fun. Yeah. But back to that night. Yeah. What was happening was one of our other friends who did know about the podcast were like, so brought something up like, oh, whatever your podcast. And, so, and then the next person goes, you have a podcast? Who has a podcast? And then we were like, oh, and we started just like looking around us. I mean, obviously. And then eventually they found out it was us. But then we kind of just like moved on. We're like, OK. I mean, <laughs> I mean, it is kind of a crazy out of the blue thing. I feel like not a lot of people. Yeah, I don't know any on this Instagram account. Like I haven't like, you know, reposted it onto my account. Because then it's like they can find it and then they can just click on it. And then the, all these people that I know will just end up listening to it. And some of these people like I've never really had like a conversation with. And then they'll know all these details about me. But that's like part of making a podcast. And not that this is a perfect representation of who we are. It's a different like perspective on, on who we are. Yeah, because they don't really know us if they haven't had a conversation with us. And even listening to, to this, it would form a perception on us that's not... Like, completely, you know? Yeah, I don't want to be perceived by them. Well, too bad. Gonna have to be. And it's funny when, like, I hear my mom's like, I listened to your podcast. And I was like, oh, you did? Because, like, the thing is, I never I never shared it. Oh, hey, mom. I never shared it with her. <laughs> she always asked me to, and I was like, oh, I don't know. And then eventually she just went and found it. Then my mom, like, would bring up stuff specifically from the podcast. And I'm like, oh, she actually listened. To the whole thing. My mom does it too. Yeah, that's really supportive. I don't know if I could make it through a whole episode. Just kidding. I listen to them like over and over until my ears want to start bleeding. Good. Good. But I think what was really crazy was seeing um, who and where, not who, but like how many people from where listen to. Yeah, guys, I don't know who you are in Europe and France listening. Shout out you guys. We saw that. So there's this feature on our hosting website where you can pull up a map and see where everyone who is listening to you is from. And there's like people literally all around the whole globe. And we're like, um, first of all, what's going on? You ever wonder how do people find out about podcasts? Because we don't even promote it that often. We don't post on Instagram enough. We, yeah, people just randomly find it or... Who's spreading. who's spreading this i don't know like that's what i'm saying like, how do people find their podcast like do we just pop up or like how do you search for it you know yeah because yeah. like even with our last episode like who's searching a podcast about animals because i think like last last one we talked about animals that was a good episode though. no buddy it was a good episode to us but that episode tanked 
I yeah, I'd expect it too. That's okay. Because we kind of just talked about animals. Yeah, that's okay. I enjoyed the podcast. And Imagine anyway. if I like I grow old and I'm like, oh, gotta go. Listen, listen to listen. Best Rivals. Listen to all the episodes through when I'm in my nursing home. <laughs> just kidding, guys. My opinion on nursing or retirement homes. I don't want to be in one. I mean, maybe that's just such a negative perception because I know nothing about them, but I just feel like I'd want to live independent for as long as I can. Funny Even if it means story. I know a lot about them, and I also do not want to end up in one. I mean, honestly, I'd kind of rather be alone. Is that sad? No. I'd rather, I'd rather die alone than be surrounded by people who don't care about me. Facts. I agree. I'd rather be, like, live my days that I'm, like, able to think for myself and do stuff for myself and, like what you said, be independent and have like a working body to the fullest until I die. Cause I work in one of them, like the front desk, um, something along a like retirement home, like community with like people who are like, some of them are like assisted and some of them aren't assisted. And you just see over time, these people's like mind just deteriorate. 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 I don't think I said that right you either. You try that one again? De- you should keep no. this in. Deteriorate. Do you want me- deteriorate? Deteriorate. Deteriorate. Do you want me to keep this in? Yeah. Oh, God. Guys, yeah, fun fact. I actually can't speak, even though we're, we have a podcast. Yeah, why do we have a podcast? Can we even, are we even articulate? Nope. But back anyway. to what I'm saying. Maybe I'm, oh, my God, I'm already losing my ability to speak. <laughs> Anyways, guys. It's just really sad because you see them, and some of them always, like, complain. They're like, oh, nothing to do today. You know, I think if that's me now complaining about how I'm bored all the time, guys, today I literally made myself a miniature charcuterie board for lunch because I had nothing better to do. No, but good for you. It looked really good, though. Oh, that brings up another thing. One of the residents were like, she unboxed a package and it was like this pantsuit that her son sent her because um her grandson's getting married she's like oh these are just too long and they never fit me and the pants they're just gonna be like over my ankles or whatever and then I was like I know how to sew she's like what I was like yeah I know how to sew and she's like would you sew it for me I was like yeah of course I'll sew it for you so now I might be sewing it for her and she's like see I'll pay you and I was like there's like I don't need payment and there's definitely no way I can accept that like legally or whatever practical skills I know oh and relating to Madison I think I'm gonna take a sewing class freshman year because I have an option for an elective and if I want to get like a certificate that's kind of like what they call minors in textile and designs like might as well start now because I have an open elective and I was thinking about taking a class like a psych class but like that wouldn't help me I mean that one that would help me but it wouldn't help me like get a certificate so I was like maybe I just take a little sewing class That's that's so fun yeah and I found like a little one of my friend's older sisters, she sent me the, like, link to, like, you can search up classes and see what, like, grades people got in them. And you can, like, switch it by, like, semesters or who's teaching and stuff like that. You just search up the classes. And both of them have, like, really good, like, passing rates or whatever. But the sewing one has, like, more. The one, like, warning that comes with, like, every, like, art college class, they're always, like, you actually have to be invested in it say you take a ceramics class and like you're just like there to like make some pots or something like that's not going to work you actually have to do work in these art classes you know yeah it's fat it's faster paced too that's like all they talk about in high school ap art classes are like college is going to be faster paced like you're going to be able to do all this like so much faster yeah and that's why i think that's my one reason that i'm like hesitant to do it because it's like yeah, I sew on the side for fun, but it's not like I ever, like, really make anything. But the thing is, I do want to start making things, but then it's like, oh, if it's, if it's going to be, like, way too, like, fast-paced, you know? And I have to, like, make, make stuff, you know? I think you could do it. Yeah, I think I should try, at least, you know? Yeah. But I also don't want it to take out my love for sewing, you know? Because then it might seem, like, more like a chore. But I feel like it'll be one of those classes that I actually look forward to going to, you know? Because it's technically a lab. So it's hands-on, obviously, because we're sewing. So I feel like it'll be a class I look forward to, but we'll see. That's really cool that you get to do that, because I don't really have room for any, like... Really? No. I think next year I'm taking a math class, maybe an econ class, depending on our AP scores, if they ever come back. Yeah, come on, four or five, please. <laughs> I know. Um, a business class, an online business class, um... The one elective, and I feel like I'm missing something, but I really don't remember. That is, that is a lot of classes, kind of, maybe. Mine's like 14 credits. 
Oh, I'm mine's 15 credits, but I'm taking all required for my track, all required business classes, and then how many? said I had room to take one liberal arts class, so I just took a class on ecosystems because I need to, re- like, satisfy other requirements, too. So I was like, all right. Yeah. It, I, it sounds really fun, though, actually. I also I only have yeah. one elective class available, and that's what I'm going to do with my sewing one, I think, because I'm not even taking an English class this semester. Me neither. Anyways, thanks for listening. I hope you enjoyed. You can follow us on Instagram at best.rivals for like a monthly Instagram post. A rare Instagram post. Yeah, they're rare because they're so special and high quality. Really high quality, really high production value. This whole podcast is just such a high budget operation. Yeah, you guys don't even know the half of it. You guys don't even know how big the studio we're sitting in right now is. Mm -hmm. How high tech. The studio. Catch you next time. Bye.